Hello everybody. In the past I've talked about some of the big changes that might be coming to express entry and finally we have some updates on that. So in this video we're going to talk exactly about that. We will be talking about the dates that are finally out when we can expect those changes and also some of the changes in the eligibility criteria that we can now anticipate coming our way down the line. Alright guys, so in the past I've talked about some of the big changes that might be coming to express entry and finally we are getting some updates, some confirmations on that. So this was one video that I made around a month ago and there was another video uh, which I made a few months back where I talked about the changes in the express entry draws. So these two videos are here. If you're interested, I'll provide the link in the description box below. You'll get to know the details of the changes that I want to talk about. This video is about the occupation specific draws. We haven't got any updates or confirmation on that until now, but we're waiting for that. The details that I have shared in this video about the changes in the eligibility criteria are now out. So in this video, we'll discuss all about that. If you want to understand the complete scenario, you can go on to watch these videos. Uh, but for now, let me just talk about the changes that are expected that have almost been confirmed through the internal memo that is now in public domain. Now again, some people might say that this is pending for approval, but in the past we have found all these internal memos to be very, very accurate. Whatever was there in these internal memos, exactly those things have happened. They have mentioned here about this change. So as I uh, talked about earlier, they would be moving from NOC 2016 to NOC 2021 and this skill categorization to this tier categorization. Again, I don't want to talk about this now because I already talked about in the earlier video. You can go on to watch this video. Um, you will get to know all the details. But what they've confirmed now is that this new system would be implemented somewhere in the November of 2022. So almost six months from now. So basically the express entry draws which are going to get resumed in July 2022 won't be affected by this change. But yes, down the line you can definitely expect some big changes coming to express entry. So talking about the eligibility, they have talked about some of the eligible occupations. Some occupations have been marked as eligible and some occupations have been marked as ineligible. So the good news is that uh, many occupations that were earlier ineligible have been brought under the umbrella of the eligibility. And this is really good news for all those people who were earlier not able to apply through the express entry system. And there are many popular jobs here it's like payroll administrators, dental assistants and dental laboratory assistants. One very important one I found here is the transport truck drivers. So earlier all these different occupations were ineligible for express entry but going forward they would be eligible. So elementary and secondary school teacher assistants would be eligible. Similarly bus drivers, subway operators and other transit operators, aircraft assemblers and aircraft assembly inspectors. These 16 occupations would be eligible for express entry starting November 2022. We don't know the exact date, but somewhere in the month of November 2022. But apart from that, three occupations would become ineligible. And these three occupations are other performers, program leaders and instructors in recreational sports and fitness, tailors, dressmakers, furious and milliners. But overall, it seems like a good news. So many different occupations would be eligible and we now know the date when this could be eligible. But again, this is an internal memo. Going forward, we are looking to see these uh, details on the Canada.ca website as well. And not just this, I believe there will be many other details that we are looking forward to. Just like the occupation specific draws. We are definitely looking forward to those details as and when those details get finalized and we get to know about it. I'll definitely make a detailed video on that. I regularly make videos to help you guys immigrate and settle abroad. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click the subscribe button. If you have any questions, any queries, please put it down in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching this video.